Hello hippos! Welcome to a short tutorial about the Count It Down add-in version 1.5. The update will work with both Avenue and Arena and the minimum version is 7.10. The effects interface is based on three parts. The countdown part, the floating text part, and the oncomplete part. The countdown part is used to configure the target time of the countdown. So, if you want the countdown to end at exactly 11 o'clock p.m., just enter 23 for the hour and keep the minutes and seconds at zero. It is possible to choose the color of the countdown, the size, letter spacing and stroke. It is also possible to move the position of the countdown. The digits box has four options. The first option will always show the remaining hours, minutes and seconds. The second option will remove the hours and will show the remaining minutes and seconds only. This option is useful if you intend to count to less than an hour. The third option will remove the hours automatically when less than one hour is left and will keep the remaining minutes and seconds till the end. The fourth option will remove the hours automatically when less than one hour is left and will also remove the minutes when less than one minute remains. When using the fourth option, it is also possible to magnify the last 10 seconds of the countdown using a slider. Keeping the slider at 1 will keep the countdown's original size while higher values will magnify it. When applying the effect over a layer or a clip, it is possible to enable an overlay mode which will replace the countdown's color with the clip's texture. After the countdown has finished, it is possible to hit the reset button to start over. The floating text part is used to add and configure a static title. Just enter the desired text, choose a color and configure size, letter spacing and position. Keeping the text box empty will disable the floating title. The visibility drop-down box has three options. The first option will always keep the title alive. The second option will fade the title out at the countdown's end. The third option will fade the title out at the last 10 seconds. This is useful when magnifying the last 10 seconds. The oncomplete part is used to configure what will happen after the countdown finishes. The display option has three choices. The time code button will keep showing zeros based on the digits box. The custom button will show custom text. Both options have configurable color, size, letter spacing and position. Enabling the blinking option will also make them blink. The fade out button will disable the ending title and will fade out the whole timer. This is useful to make a lower layer clip to appear when the countdown finishes. Thanks for watching.